Tonight, two Rocky Mount police officers are on administrative leave and are being investigated by federal authorities. The department says in a release they attended Wednesday's events in Washington, D.C., and one of the officers tells Ted News they went inside the Capitol. Ted News reporter Shane Dwyer explains what happened and how the officers are defending their actions. In the days since the riot at the U.S. Capitol in which people made their way inside America's sacred halls of democracy, participants from all across the country are starting to be outed. That includes here in our area, where an activist shared this post on Facebook Saturday night questioning if two Rocky Mount police officers went inside the Capitol that day. The photo, authenticated by 10 News, shows two men standing in front of the John Stark statue located inside the Capitol's crypt. Stark of New Hampshire is famous for coining the slogan, live free or die. Shortly after that, Jacob Fracker, a Rocky Mount officer, posted publicly on his now deleted Facebook page about it, saying, quote, LOL to anyone who's possibly concerned about the picture of me going around. Sorry, I hate freedom. Not like I did anything illegal. Way too much to lose to go there. But y'all do what you feel you need to do. Later in the comment thread, Fracker made sure it was clear he was referring to the activist's post. Then Thomas Robertson, another Rocky Mount officer chimed in on the same post later with a message of support, saying Congress and government are both of our enemies. He then added, P.S. Here's the picture in question, and I am expletive proud of it. It shows two men willing to actually put skin in the game and stand up for their rights. He finished by telling four locals, including Franklin County Commonwealth's attorney A.J. Dudley, to expletive off and hide behind the men. 10 News reached out to both Fracker and Robertson. Fracker, through his wife, declining comment. Robertson told us he needed the investigation to be over before he talked with us, but said the picture was taken, quote, long after any disorder and we were let in and escorted by Capitol Police. Adding, I walked through an open door guarded by two Capitol Police officers, was handed a bottle of water by them, and asked to stay within a roped area, which we did. Robertson maintains neither he nor Fracker did anything illegal and say they didn't participate in any violence. We've asked the Capitol Police about those allegations and we have yet to hear back. Neither man is on the FBI flyers looking for information about the riot. Sunday morning, about 12 hours following the viral post, the town issuing a statement. It says the town of Rocky Mount fully supports all lawful expressions of freedom of speech and assembly by its employees, but does not condone the unlawful acts that occurred that day and that both officers have been placed Based on administrative leave. In Rocky Mount, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. Our additional questions and requests for interviews to both the town manager and the police chief have gone unanswered.